to Hong Kong, to that fragment of land to the south of China that became a far-flung outpost of the British Empire just over a hundred years ago. Hong Kong in that time has grown from a few square miles inhabited by poor farmers, fishermen and pirates to a busy area with a population of over two million. It has more than doubled in the past 20 years. The colony now includes Kowloon, reached by a seven-minute ferry service across the water. And it's here that the bulk of the thriving cotton and textile industry is carried on. To Kowloon, it has brought a prosperity undreamed of a few years ago. It's here that East meets West. The workers in the cotton industry enjoy, by Eastern standards, a high standard of living. Working conditions and living conditions in flats built specially for them have placed them among the new aristocracy of the Far East. On shore, the appearance of Hong Kong has kept pace with the changing times, and the scene afloat at first appears to be smart and modern also. But at a second glance, it is seen to differ very little from what it was a hundred years ago. The pirates have gone, but the fishermen still remain. And many families still live aboard the picturesque sampans, which have been the homes of their forefathers for generations. There were storm clouds over Hong Kong as the Britannia climbed once more into the skies. An expensive way for ships' crews to travel. 